Caterpillar took a different approach to emissions control with its ACERT engines. Instead of using traditional EGR, they introduced CGI, clean gas induction. But what exactly is CGI, and why did CAT choose it over EGR? Let's break it down. In the early 2000s, emissions regulations were getting stricter. Diesel engines had to reduce NOx emissions, which are harmful pollutants formed at high combustion temperatures. Most manufacturers turned to EGR, exhaust gas recirculation, to solve this problem. But Caterpillar had a different idea. EGR works by sending some of the exhaust gases back into the engine to lower combustion temperatures. But this has some major downsides. It increases soot buildup, reduces oxygen availability, and leads to more maintenance. To avoid these issues, Caterpillar introduced clean gas induction, or CGI, as part of their ACERT technology. So, how does CGI work? Instead of recirculating exhaust gases like EGR, CGI takes clean filtered air from the intake manifold and reintroduces it into the combustion chamber. This reduces NOx emissions while keeping the intake system clean. No dirty exhaust gases, no excessive soot buildup. CGI works alongside Caterpillar's advanced turbocharging system and air-to-air aftercooler, AT at a lac, to maintain optimal combustion efficiency. Compared to traditional EGR, CGI has several advantages. Cleaner operation, no soot buildup in the intake, lower maintenance costs, no clogged EGR valves or manifolds. Better fuel efficiency, more oxygen for combustion. Longer engine life, less contamination means reduced wear and tear. Caterpillar's goal with CGI was simple reduce NOx emissions without sacrificing durability or fuel efficiency. So if CGI was so effective, why was it replaced? The answer, even stricter emissions regulations. By the time Tier 4 final and Euro 6 regulations arrived, CGI alone wasn't enough to meet NOx limits. Other manufacturers had already switched to a combination of EGR and SCR, selective catalytic reduction, which uses DF fluid to break down NOx emissions. Caterpillar eventually stopped producing on-highway ACERT engines, shifting focus to off-highway and industrial applications, where different emission strategies are used. Caterpillar's CGI system was an innovative alternative to EGR, offering a cleaner, more efficient solution for NOx reduction. But as emission standards evolved, the industry moved towards SCR and DEF-based solutions. What do you think? Was CGI a better approach than EGR? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more heavy machinery insights. Thanks for watching Design Hub Heavy Machinery. We'll see you in the next video.